Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. I just woke up in San Francisco and if you couldn't tell by my scratchy voice, I woke up with a cold and I am not happy about it. I felt so fine yesterday. All of a sudden I wake up and I'm just sick. So that sucks, but so far it only feels like a little bit of a cold. Hopefully it doesn't turn into something more because like right now I can function, but if it gets any worse, I'll be like, laying in bed watching Netflix all day. So I am just about to check out of this hotel room and head over to the airport. Oh, and I'm wearing my YouTube shirt. Let me show you my little outfit of the day. So this is the little YouTube logo shirt that I got yesterday when I was at the headquarters. Then I'm wearing my little green comfy guest jacket. Same American Eagle jeggings as yesterday and then my little brown boots. So today I am flying home and I land around two o'clock. And then after that, what's really cool is Steven and I have our food tasting for our wedding today, which I am so excited about. It's gonna be so much fun. The plan is right now, we're gonna do a vegetarian option and a meat option. So I am gonna be choosing the vegetarian option. Steven's gonna choose the meat option. And my parents are gonna be there to kind of try and taste both and help us decide what we think would be best for our guests. I am just packing up the rest of my stuff and then I'll be heading to the airport. So I got through TSA. It was pretty long, but I got here pretty early. So I still had about about 20 or 30 minutes till my flight even starts boarding. So I decided to get some lunch. There was like a little mini Budin over there. And since Budin is a San Francisco thing, and I didn't get to get Budin while I was here, I thought it was appropriate. I got a little mini Caesar salad for lunch with a little mini bowl of soup. It was like a pick two type thing. And then I got some bread too. Thank you. So I'm all set in my seat. I've got the nice little window view. So that'll be nice coming into San Diego. Now time to put on my headphones and hopefully I'll get some work done on this flight. So it's been about an hour and a half since we boarded and the pilot came on and said that the flight was delayed. And I was like freaking out that I wasn't gonna make the food tasting. I was calling my mom, I was texting Steve and I'm like, we're gonna have to reschedule this. And we booked this literally like three or four months out. So I was so bummed, but the pilot captain guy just came on over the speaker and said that the mechanic checked it out, everything's good to go and we can take off. So. Fingers crossed that nothing else goes wrong. Pilot just came on, he said, five more minutes. I've heard that one before. Update number three, it's now two o'clock and they got the engine figured out, but now there is a fueling issue that they're working on. So the new takeoff time says like 2.15, but honestly, I have no idea. Update, we still haven't moved. The airplane's making sounds, so hopefully that's good. Steven and I are in the car on our way to the food tasting. I literally had two and a half minutes to change at the house and I feel sick and we're like three, four minutes late to this thing. So this has just been a crazy, crazy day from that flight delay. But thank goodness we're actually gonna make it to this because I was so worried that we were gonna have to reschedule. I'm so hungry because I haven't eaten anything since that little boudin soup and salad. So good thing that this is a food tasting or else I would probably be pretty cranky right now. All right, we just got here. Rather head out. Sierra's still frustrated. She had a long car right here, so she's taking a moment, but my lover. You ready to go? This is all the fun stuff we're trying. We got the appetizers, salads, entrees, and side dishes. All right, so we're starting with the gazpacho. Go ahead, Cheers. Steven. Cheers. <laughs> Gets kind of stuck in there. Yeah, it's some cold salsa. They're trying the ceviche. The uh, gazpacho was basically just a shot of salsa, so I'm thinking maybe <laughs> not that one. <laughs> but what I'm excited to try is the bruschetta. So that's my favorite thing. We are still working on the appetizers. Right now we're doing the fruit skewers. Mm. These are good, but I don't know if they're like appetizers. Yeah. That makes sense, you know? I agree. So which three are you guys thinking for the appetizers? Well, that's it for today, but I, I think there are other options on the menu, but I'm not sure. I think he just pulled the very vegetarian, right? Yeah. We got cranberry walnut, strawberry goat cheese. Ooh. All right, so Steven made the decision. Which salad are we doing? Yes. Uh, the strawberry one. Strawberry one. They're basically the same. Just one has strawberries. Sierra, what's about to happen? I think our food's coming, or at least the size, because I see the rope stuffed red bell pepper. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Thank you. 
So everyone else got a sampling of the meat options and I got the vegetarian option because we're doing one in one and I don't eat meat. This mushroom ravioli is literally amazing. So good. What's the fan favorite for the meat option so far? Tri tip. Tri tip? Dad? Steven? Wow. We also get this little side to try along with the other sides. I'm really excited for that. And for those potatoes. You guys know how I feel about potatoes. Next up is the risotto cakes. They are pretty small right here, but they're going to be big at the wedding. So, Steven. <laughs> Next up, we're trying the potato side, which I am so excited about. I think we have to go with the potatoes, though. It's a classic. Mm. Mm -hmm. Everything's good so far. My favorite was the tri-tip by far. It's kind of a bummer because I really, really wanted to like this red bell pepper. And we were all saying the same thing, that the presentation was good. And it's a vegan option, which is great, but it's just so bland. I really liked the potatoes, but that's no surprise. Not sure what we're gonna do for the other side, but everyone's pretty full, pretty much slowing down. I think we figured out what we're gonna do for mostly everything. So now we are gonna sample a dessert, which is so exciting. So even though I basically walked all over the red bell pepper five seconds ago, we were looking at all of like the different options, and I think we're gonna go with that anyways. We're gonna do the red bell pepper and the potatoes as the sides because the other vegetable options, like it's like asparagus, which not everyone likes, and then like a charred thing that we didn't particularly like. So instead we are gonna do the red bell pepper, which maybe not everyone will like it, but it has rice in it, and we almost did just rice on its own. So little veggies in it, this will be good. So here is our dessert. It's a carrot cake with walnut and cream cheese filling. Ooh, ready, go. Yeah. I want the true reaction. This is real life. So Steven is picking out our donut wall. We're gonna do a donut wall and then like a pastry station instead of a big wedding cake. So we get to pick three donut flavors and Steven didn't even know that there were more donut flavors than glazed and maple. So we have to choose three of these and then we decided for our pastries we're gonna do creme, creme brulee cheesecake, right? And um, triple chocolate brownie. For our donut wall we're doing a rainbow sprinkle donut, maple donut, and coconut. Mm -mm -mm. So right as we were walking out we spotted that they had the picture of the thing that we decided to get, but didn't get to try, the button mushroom caps. And there's our salad. And there's our salad, right down there. And we didn't get any of the rest of this stuff. We got the, the uh, tomato bisque shooter. grilled cheese and tomato bisque shooter right there. And the bruschetta. Ooh, and the bruschetta. And the stuffed red bell pepper. Oh my gosh, we're so full. Now we're gonna go uh, run off to Sierra's parents' house. We're gonna watch Survivor. Sounds risky because I got some stuff to do, but all in the name of Survivor, right, Sierra? Right? Yes. Wait, yeah. I don't know what the question was. I was reading an email. Survivor. What about Survivor? Just say yes. Yes! We got back to my parents' house and Austin is about to try our leftovers. They like put it all in like a cute little presentation. Survivor is just about to start. We are such dweebs. We still watch Survivor. I know no one else does but I've literally been watching Survivor every season since I was in like second grade. No, just no one watches it really anymore. It's not like it's not like crazy popular. It's not like Bachelor. There's no fantasy league. Today was a little bit crazy with the flight delays and all that, but luckily I was able to still make it to the food tasting and we all had a nice time once I calmed down a little bit from all my panic about it. Yeah, I was pretty stressed when I got there, but once I got some food and yummy hors d'oeuvres in me. I was a yeah. happy camper. So I think this is where we're gonna wrap up the vlog, go cuddle up on the couch and watch some Survivor. It has been pretty much solo Sierra vlog week because I have been on my own doing my own thing, but we have some fun plans together this weekend. So then we'll yeah. be back reunited again and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! There's a giant slide, just in case you don't feel like taking the stairs. So uh, you know what I'm gonna do.